Hi, Bold Bakers. I think we can all agree upon the fact that while we love pie, we don't always love rolling out pie crust. I dread when my pie crust starts to fall apart and I have to patch it back together like a bad art project. Well, fear no more because I have a no fuss, no roll pie crust for you. Meaning you don't need any equipment. I mean none, not even a rolling pin. It's unbelievably easy and it is going to change the way you make pies. So here I have a nice big pie dish. You can use a nine, 10 inch pie dish. And into this, I'm going to add in some flour, all purpose flour. If you are gluten-free, you can use all-purpose gluten-free flour. That is totally fine. What we're gonna do is add this straight into the dish. So not only do you not need special equipment for this recipe, you don't even need a bowl. I'm telling you, it's a game changer. This holiday season, you are gonna be cranking out pies left, right, and center. Into this, we are going to add in a little bit of sugar. Now, if you wanted to make this a savory pie crust, leave the sugar out, no big deal. Next up, a little bit of salt. So one piece of equipment you do need is a fork. And we all have one of those. So just mix your dry ingredients together, like so. Then into this, we're going to add in a little bit of water. If you want to make this pastry a little bit richer, you can always add milk. And then next, we're going to add in a little bit of oil. This is our fat that you need in the pastry. I like to add maybe vegetable oil, canola oil, sunflower oil. If you're looking to make a savory, savory pie crust, you can always add in olive oil to a savory one. There we go. What was that, like five ingredients? Oh my gosh, we're killing it. So fork, in we go. Mix it all together until it starts to clump. It only takes a few minutes. So I have probably, I'd say over 40 big and bold pies on my website. And you can use this recipe to make any one of those that you like. Now you see it's clumped together. Now we're gonna go in with our clean hands and all you have to do is just press it into shape. So just as evenly as you can, go along the bottom, along the sides, and then just fit it into your pie pan. So like I said earlier, this is no fuss. You don't have to move the pastry on your rolling pin. It falls apart. Like, trust me, it happens to me and I've been doing this for over 15 years, but it happens. It's not gonna happen with this one. The good thing about doing this with your hands is that you can feel the thickness and this feels perfect. And it has taken on the shape of the pie pan so it has this lovely finish on it. So here's the deal. This is ready to be used right now. I made it probably under five minutes, super fast. You can put it in the fridge, you can keep it for a few days, you can freeze it, you can blind bake it, do whatever you want. Head over to biggerbolderbaking.com because I've got this pie recipe and loads more pies for you for this holiday season. This is going to be a game changer. I really hope you like it.